Hi, in this session I'm going to cover how to create an in-cell chart. There may be some instances where you didn't want to use the charting functionality in Excel and you want to create a small chart within the cell itself. So these are horizontal bars and here's an example of some vertical bars. So let's go ahead and see how we can create uh, these. I'm going to go ahead and take the census information. This is a US population census information for 2010. Let me do a control C to copy that. Let's bring it over here. Oh, we're missing the uh, grid lines, so we'll go ahead and bring those grid lines back. Uh, let's bring the grid lines back and bring the headings back. So control C and then control V. Whoops. Let's go back and get our uh, get our data. Control C and then control V. And then we have our data. Let's double click. Let's double click the column here to auto fit and how do we go ahead and create the bar charts the um, in-cell bar charts well basically what we're going to do is we're going to use a character that will represent the bars so and then repeat those characters now how we're going to get the values what we're going to do is we're going to take the maximum value here the maximum from this list and use the other values in proportion to those so let's go ahead and just give an example. Let's just, just go ahead and go through the formula and you'll see what I'm talking about. So what we're going to do is we're going to repeat some special characters and we're going to use the REPT function. And we're going to repeat the pipe, the pipe character. And so we're going to put that, the pipe character is this. This is a, a key that's above the enter uh, key. And you have to put that in between quotes. And we're going to repeat that. And how many times are we going to repeat it? We're going to repeat it the maximum of from this cell. Let's just select it all. This cell to this cell. And press F4. Because when we're going to copy this down, we won't don't want it to uh, we want to retain the absolute value. Uh, the maximum the maximum of that actually no. Let me uh we have to do that cell divided by the maximum. So the max of this cell divided by that. Now, once we have once this this divided by the maximum, if this were the maximum, it'd be one. So we'd only have one. So we wanted to give it a multi. We'll, let's give it a multiplier effect because we want to kind of see some. Uh, see a, like an increase of the bar so we're gonna say and you can play with this number we can say um, in our example let's just say we'll start out with uh, 25 and we'll go ahead and close parentheses and that's gonna give us these bars now if we go ahead and double click this it will bring it down and why did that not work Three. Oh, let's see. Maybe because it is too much or too little. Let's try 100. Uh, yes. Uh, let's try 100 here. Bring those values down. Double click that. No. Okay. So what we're going to do is we want the maximum oh my bad so what would be what what the maximum is here uh, we put the max in there we close that and it's e2 and if i press control enter the formula is going to copy down through the rest of the cells you see that so what i did was i selected this whole cell this whole range and this EF2 was the selection and once I change the formula in here I just press control enter and whatever modification I did to that formula it would copy it all down as you can see so here we have the representation uh, the visual representation the bar charts so let's go ahead and do the same for this side and we're gonna go ahead and do equals repeat and we're going to repeat the pipe symbol 
divided by C2. So this is covering, so all I can do is press type in C2, divided by the maximum of C2 to C22. And I'll press F4 so I can get the absolute values for both of these. Let's, I want to get it for that C2 also. And then also multiply by, I think I did 25, right? So let's try 25 here. Close parentheses. Press enter. Uh, I did 100 here. So let's change that to, back to 100. And let me go ahead and double click this little fill handle. Copy down, double click this. But you can see here that it is left justified. So that's really easy to fix. We'll go ahead and just write justified here in the alignment. So now it's very big. So how do we make this a little bit more manageable, more to view? What we can do is basically just reduce the font size. We'll make this a four. And we'll copy this and make that a four. And double click that. That makes it a little smaller. Double click the column here and it makes it a little smaller. And like we'll go ahead and select this. Control. Press control and select that. That lets you select discontinuous disc non non-contiguous cells. And let's just make those, since these are characters, we're gonna make that the blue, just like the last color or the last color that we had. So there you have it. So this is how we would create an incel bar incel bar chart. And the same here, we're gonna do the same thing. Except here, see how we have the alignment? What basically you can do is you can select your cells when you, when you create this. Right click and go into format cells. And here in the alignment, just make the alignment 90 degrees. And it's going to make these vertical instead of horizontal. So there you go, in-cell charting. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching.